Hey, welcome back. So we are back again to clean up the contact us page. So let's delete the usual suspects. I'm going to go to the blog.view and I'm just going to steal some of these contents. So copy, go back to contact us. And then I want to um, find the header bottom, header middle, header right there. This is the very end of the header. So let me go to the top of the page and I didn't get to the top. I paste. Okay. This is the wrong page. This is the HTML. So close the HTML version. Let's go with the PHP version. Uh, yep, this is the very end. Paste. Goody. And as usual, let's check for the sidebar. So what I will do is let's go to the HTML version, click on contact us. And this one doesn't have a sidebar. So it's good to compare with the original. Let me come back to, um, I don't know, index.php view. Let me copy the footer, go back to contact.php, this one in the views. So footer is here. Let's see where it starts from. And let me replace everything with the footer. Paste. Yes. Yeah, excellent. Now let me refresh. And it seems that things are looking up. Only that there's a huge gap between this and that. I don't know what's in the middle here. So contact us and then huge space. Where is this? Contact us. Oh, there's supposed to be a Google map thingy here. Yeah, so it's not working because I'm not connected to the internet, though I am actually, but I don't know why it isn't working, but we don't need Google Maps here, so out of my way. Let's delete that entire div, and then we have this left here. Okay, so pretty good. Now we have our contact page, we have our blog page, shop, home page. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we can make all of these functional and here, because this is this is uh, information that rarely actually changes. So I don't think there's any need to create, um, though you could, you could put this inside the settings. Maybe we should do that. We'll put this inside the settings so that somebody can change because sometimes you can say we can change this it's actually easy to change this just by going here and typing the content there. But if you're giving this website to a client who is not tech savvy, they're not going to be able to edit that. So they may need this to be in the settings so that they can change it whenever they want. And then we will have to do the same thing. We linked here to these guys down here as well. And then we have a submit page and then we can do some submitting to the database so that if people want to get in touch with you, they can do that right here. Okay, so I just have to debate what to start with here. Do we start with blog posts or contact? I think let's start with uh, the much easier thing here, which is the contact us page. And also, before I forget, I actually changed a few things here. Um, I'd recorded a video, but uh, I deleted it by mistake. And in that video, I had changed the this part here in the header. So let me head right there and show you what I'm talking about. So go to the views header.php. And right about, where are we here? There is the account logo yeah there's home there definitely not this one i'm looking for the logo itself 
where is the logo how come I cannot find this logo okay if you can't find something just right click it and inspect the element and here where is this there's a uh, logo.png okay so it can't be that hard to find let me just search for logo uh-huh right here logo.png so this one changed this huh, it looks like i hadn't actually changed it change this from just index there just put root like this uh, equals root like that close it up okay refresh click okay it's a working so now when somebody clicks on the logo they go to the home page all right so i think for now let's continue with the contact page because this is much easier to deal with and then once we get the concepts down we can translate to the blog all right so first of all let's uh, deal with the social networking here google plus uh, youtube we didn't actually add the youtube thingy here so tough luck youtube let's come down here to social networking let me find where is that I have to look inside the contact.php and here they are these Facebook links so I'm going to copy what I did inside the header so I did this here Facebook link so all I need to do is copy those bad boys and put them here so Facebook paste uh, where have I gone header hmm. Twitter gotta be let's put that one there Google Plus is go can somebody is Google Plus still a thing I never actually got to use it copy that copy Google Plus but we don't have anything for YouTube so you can add that uh, in the uh, what's this the database and you know do that as an exercise add it for yourself and see because it's just a matter of duplicating these and renaming it to YouTube so no big deal I'm sure at this point you can do that on your own so if I hover on this it's showing me it's going to YouTube and so on okay so that is great these are working here and then now we need to deal with uh, this one right here contact info mm -hmm. so this is where we can now go to create a new uh, in the database here eShop come on come on come on come on come on times are wasting okay settings where are we settings there we go okay so right here where there are these items uh, I guess we we could add the YouTube here mm-hmm so I just want to add one more row here or maybe two more rows so I'm just going to say insert insert mm -hmm. so what I will insert is uh, oh let me open another one here I want to copy the same naming convention so Facebook link I will put YouTube link YouTube underscore link and then the other setting will be contact details contact info I think that's what it's called contact info so this is how you add uh, new settings just like this just add a setting here add a setting there then you can let the user put the values so once I click there this is the query that actually ran and let me go to browse okay now I have YouTube link and I have uh, contact info pretty awesome now the thing with contact info is that let's come down here as you can see there's uh, some HTML in here so you cannot code this chance for people to put some actual HTML in there if you want 
once we echo it out, it's still going to work like this. Okay, so... Let me come back here for a second and refresh. Okay, so let's scroll down to the admin section. Ooh, I was logged out. Oh, no, no, this is the HTML version. So let me go to my admin page, right click, admin. And we're back, Mr. Admin. So let's go to settings contacts uh -huh. so I have YouTube link and I have contact info mm -hmm. yeah okay so this is the thing with um, with settings now there are two ways to display these settings now if, if you remember very well if I go back to my view for Let's go to admin and let's go to settings here.php. The way I am displaying these settings here is through, where is that? Where is that? Where is this? Uh, yes, right here. So I'm using a loop. So this loop is agnostic to what the setting itself is. So for example here, this is a, a link, okay, and here I want more than just a, uh, a text box. I want a text area which is slightly bigger than this, so because I want this to be multi-line. So now the problem comes in here because since I'm using a loop here, uh, where is this though? Row text. I'm trying to find the input here. Oh, these are the wrong settings I'm looking at. No wonder I'm getting confused. Okay, this is the one right here, which has the input. Yeah, the one at the top here. So for it, it's just going through all the settings and then just adding an input there. That's all it's doing. Yeah. So now the thing is. Uh, you can actually change this if you want. There are two options. One is to add one more column, and the other one is to just write these one by one, these settings. You add them. The way this is, right? I can write email on this side and then write, put the input, and then I can choose exactly what type of input I want to put there. But I think uh, that is the old way. Let's do a better way, shall we? Uh, 